The U.S. Postal Service says most mail is delivered within two and a half days, but in rural communities, people say that's not happening. Staffing problems are contributing to long waits and long lines at the post office. I started my conversations with the post office in 2018. For years, Dara McDonald says her small town of Crested Butte, Colorado, has been plagued with lengthy post office lines and parcel problems. Now the town, with a population of just over 1,500 people, is exploring its legal options. Crested Butte joined with six other Colorado municipalities to pursue understanding our options to file a complaint about the subpar service that we've all been receiving for years now. Are you having staffing issues too? That's absolutely a big part of the problem. Staffing issues are also at the center of complaints in rural communities in Vermont. Congressional lawmakers say poor customer service has been reported in Hinesburg, a town of 4,600 people. They've also heard of mail delays in Williston, South Burlington, and Wyndham County. I brought it up with the, um, the chair of the oversight committee. I feel like we should be doing more oversight of the postal service. We're really calling on the postal management to manage, get the personnel, get the systems in place, get the mail delivered. United States Postal Service. Vermont lawmakers drafted two letters to the post office to highlight the problems. The post office's four-page response acknowledged the personnel shortages, citing a tight labor market for making it harder to find employees. In a statement to me, a spokesperson adds, 97% of the nation's population receives their mail in less than three days, and we are working hard to correct service-related issues in other limited areas. In Washington, I'm Jamie Bittner.